Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today the topic is stem cell therapy for COPD. So I'm going to discuss how common COPD is, the various causes of it, traditional treatments, stem cell therapy, what does the research show on stem cell therapy, and then I'll tell you about our program in Mexico. How common is it? Well, COPD is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes obstructed airflow from the lungs. Symptoms include breathing difficulty, cough, mucus production, and wheezing. Over 65 million people around the world have either moderate or severe COPD, with over 16 million alone in the U.S., and it's the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. So what causes COPD? Well, 85 to 90 percent of all COPD cases are caused by cigarette smoking. There's also is issues with exposure to air pollution, breathing secondhand smoke, uh, people who work with chemicals, dust, and fumes. There's also a genetic condition which can lead to COPD called alpha-1 deficiency or a history of childhood respiratory infection it can be a residual. What are the different types of COPD? Well, there's really just two major types. One is chronic bronchitis, which I spelled wrong, sorry. And it's a long-term inflammation of the bronchi, which are the breathing passages in the lungs, which results in increased production of mucus. The second type is emphysema, which is a chronic lung condition in which alveoli, which are the air sacs in the lungs, may be destroyed or damaged in some way. Traditional treatments for COPD uh, include such things as medications that may include bronchodilators, corticosteroids, anxi anxiolytics, smoking cessation medications, or opioids. Opioids can help people breathe easier and have a better uh, uh, time during the day with their breathing. Oxygen therapy, um, pulmonary rehabilitation to help uh, increase lung capacity, and as a last resort, surgery. So let's get into stem cell therapy for COPD. It's really the only treatment that works toward an actual repair and regeneration of lung tissue. You know, all these other treatments are mostly band-aids like the corticosteroids and, and things like that. They don't actually work towards modifying the disease. They just help with the big, you know, symptom reduction. Now, stem cell therapy is offered typically with an IV therapy along with nebulizer. Uh, you know, the nebulizer is where you put the mask on or the wand and you breathe in the, the biologic. Studies show that three-fourths of stem cells do survive the journey from the nebulizer uh, tubing into the lungs. And that was a very good study using a compressive nebulizer, which is what our center uses. Treatments are very, very safe. Um, umbilical cord stem cells um, are from, uh, obtained from donations. Um, after a scheduled C-section, there's no harm to baby or mother. There's no ethical issues, um, and there's no need for immunosuppression. We used to think that if someone received an umbilical cord blood treatment, that they did need some cyclosporin or whatever. That's actually not necessary. So what does the research show? Well, let's go through a few studies. I'm not going to bore you to tears, but here's one that looked at stem cell therapy for COVID-19 and other respiratory diseases, the global trends in clinical trials. All right, so this is very recent. And it showed, looked at preclinical studies demonstrate significant improvement of lung disorders by stem cells and extracellular vesicles. Completed clinical trials show cell-based therapies are safe and tolerant for all types of respiratory diseases. In general, the dosage of stem cells seen in these trials ranged from a million per kilogram to like a billion per kilogram um, Actually, it's 100 million per kilogram, but it's a very, very high dosage, okay? So importantly, a phase one slash two clinical study showed that four doses of umbilical cord treatment considerably alleviated the severity of symptoms of COPD for a long period of time. So I'm not going to go through all these studies, but you can see there are quite a few. Um, three of them were for COPD, two were for ARDS, and what you looked, what they saw was that this was bone marrow, uh, bone marrow, bone marrow, bone marrow. <clears throat> so 
So here you can see some of the published clinical trials. And what you see is that um, you see the conditions that were, were being treated, um, but the duration of follow-up was either two months up to one to two years, okay? There were no significant adverse events in pretty much all these studies, okay? Um, and what you saw is that significant improvements of quality of life, increased cardiac output, um, increased uh, lung function. So very good results in these studies. So here's a study that was done in 2017, um, mesenchymal stem cell administration in patients with COPD. So they looked at three different trials um, that indicated that mesenchymal stem cells in the setting of degenerative lung disease is safe and improves patients' condition and quality of life. And every study you're going to look at that doesn't have hundreds and hundreds of patients is going to say, hey, we need larger scale studies. Well, we know that. Here's another one from 2017. Can youthful mesenchymal stem cells from Morton's jelly, which is part of the umbilical cord, bring a breath of fresh air? And this was more of um, not just philosophical, but also basic science, where they said that therapeutic eff efficacy of mesenchymal stem cells in older patients may be compromised by several age-related factors. So if you take your own stem cells, from either adipose or bone marrow, there are issues as we get older. One is the numbers are much lower. Two is DNA damage, oxidative stress. So it's believed that the neonatal tissue derived mesenchymal stem cells, such as found in the umbilical cord, Wharton's jelly, may adapt better to the host tissue environment and possess superior anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory actions. So what we've seen over the years, anecdotally as well as in the research studies, is that the postnatal tissue that's obtained ethically and tested for everything, and our lab uses quality assurance standards higher than the FDA, is very effective and safe. So I do want to note that there are clinics around the world that do use embryonic stem cells or induce pluripotent stem cells. Neither of these are ready for prime time, by a long shot. They both have their issues. For instance, embryonic stem cells can lead to a tumor. They can lead to severe immune rejection. Um, they're just not ready. They're, mostly, they're in the research setting mostly for these days. So if anyone suggests those types of stem cell treatment, just run away. We're talking about stem cell therapy with mesenchymal stem cells or hematopoietic stem cells from postnatal tissue that are not embryonic, they're not induced, any of that, all right? They've been very safe, they don't cause tumors, they don't lead to an immune rejection. So let's talk about our program for a moment. We've combined all the essentials for a first-rate program in our clinics in Mexico. We have expert doctors who've done hundreds and hundreds of cases. We have a dedicated patient concierge representative as you go through your sign-up process. These are very safe biologics with extremely high cell counts. We've never had a significant adverse event. Our location is very convenient. It's only 20 minutes from the San Diego International Airport, or um, if you go to our clinic in Mexicali, it's only five minutes from the Mexicali Airport. Um, and it really is the most cost-effective program in the world. There are three options of how to receive treatment. If you wanna come uh, to start with one time for either 30 or 50 million stem cells. Uh, for COPD, I would highly recommend the 50 million. Um, it starts at only 29.75 for 30 or 39.75 for 50 million stem cells. Now, there is a program where if you come for five days, over that five days you'll receive 200 million stem cells, and that starts at 89.75, all inclusive. The other option is you can sign up for a full year and come four times over the period of that year and receive 200 million cells over that period of time. And that starts at $10,475. So, so a significant cost savings there. Now, interesting to note about Mexico is that the biologic culturing is allowed. It's not in the United States. All right. So the lab we work with is GenCell. They're accredited pristine safety record. They're in Mexico City. Their quality assurance is actually more involved than the FDA. So they don't have to use any preservatives. 
Therefore, they have uh, a 95% viability of cells, which is amazing. The cell culturing is kept to the fifth generation or less, which keeps them potent and viable. The more you culture cells, the less functional they become, which is the problem with most international clinics you go to. They don't tell you that, but it's extremely critical that you keep it to under the eighth generation or so. We keep it to the fifth or less. Um, travel, if you go to San Diego Airport, our uh, patient reps will pick you up and provide escort transportation. It is only 20 minutes to the clinic. I've done it myself plenty of times. Uh, we do provide transportation from San Diego to the clinic and back, and you'll have an escort with you for the treatment visit. And we do assist with travel logistics. If you need a hotel booked, if you need a flight booked, you know, th those are our patient responsibility, but we do um, assist with those. To get the process started is really simple. Um, everybody requires, we require a phone consultation, which is free for everyone, so that Dr. De La Puerta or one of our other doctors, he's our medical director, want to know what's been happening with you. They want to see any medical records um, and then help make the decision with you as to the best treatment option. The number to call is 888-988-0515. And visit us online at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. There's hundreds of pages on that site. You'll see a lot of it on COPD and other issues you might be dealing with. You can also email us off of that site. There's contact forms or directly at info at r3stemcell.com. Thanks so much. We look forward to hearing from you.